Thank you very much, Tatsumasa from Japan. And uh, Mr. President, I'm very happy to see your small restaurants are now you know, making Japanese small more popular. Yeah. And yeah. I feel very, very safe with your people because we look the same and we think the same way. But one, one request to you. You said something very, very important. I'm very impressed. You are prepared to intermediate between North Korea yeah. and the world. Please, please do that. I beg you, because there is no one who are openly said that, to my knowledge. So I count on you very much, and I hope you to make the world a better place to live in. Thank you. You know, when I meet with, the, with, the, with my friends uh, from Japan, and the, they are always really concerned about the abductee issues. There are also some Japanese abducted in North Korea. And I was only president uh, visiting the Shinzo Abe's home and uh, sitting uh, there and talking about these things. And uh, Prime Minister Abe is very close. And during my presidency, Prime Minister Abe visited three times Mongolia. That is how significant our country's relations. And also, we have EPA, Economic Partnership Agreement, Free Trade Agreement between Mongolia and Japan. That actually the first time we concluded with Japan. And th those, those uh, issues are really interesting. Also, I, have, I, I, I usually talk when, when, when I talk about Japan, Mongolian relations, it's very historical, early time relations. One time, Hublai Khan tried to invade Japan. <laughs> he had a, during, ta during that time, he had the biggest navy. He was in, uh, in, in China, you know, uh, he actually established Yuan Dynasty. Today's Chinese money called Yuan. During that time, Mongolia introduced paper money there, and he established Yuan Dynasty, and he had the biggest navy, and he tried in way two times Japan, and there was the big wind, big ocean wind, and Japanese call it kamikaze. <coughs> Means that that's the divine wind. We call it bad weather, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Since then, we have that <laughs> great relations. You, when you mentioned Sumo, you know, Japanese yeah. Sumo, Mongolians dominating for 15 years. There are five grand champions, four of the Mongolians. And uh, <laughs> means that uh, also many people ask during my presence here, what time is good time to go to Mongolia? What to see in Mongolia? There are many things to see, and July, August, September, I told them. It's best time to come to Mongolia. And uh, I think uh, I'm, I'm really inviting you. And uh, I'm, I'm uh, making very good connections with you. And please come to Mongolia. And uh, Japan, uh, North Korean issue, yeah, in, a, in a hotline, we exchange our uh, really important information with Japan, with Japanese foreign ministry. We have our people there. We have our insights there. We have really unique perspective and unique insights. If I want to North Korea any day, they, they, I, I, I have access to that. If Mongolians go there, many North Koreans coming to Mongolia, and they ask, what happened to your former communist leaders? Were they killed? What happened? Were they punished? We say that nothing happened. They are living, they, most of them there, and uh, uh, our former uh, Communist Party, they're existing. Don't corner, you know, give the opportunity. Democracy means giving opportunity. Essence of democracy means not pleasing to everyone, but uh, keeping the diversity. Diversity is the source, you know, keeping uh, to be different, keeping that right to be different. That's the essence of democracy. But in, in Mongolia, if you go, uh, many people uh, not happy with the, today's political establishment, but pe people are really happy that we have that diverse voices in Mongolia mm -hmm. and very burgeoning um, that social media and freedom of expression and keeping that in our part of the world is really crucial. From that, many people are learning. Mr. Shetrit. Uh, I'm going to, because we have two minutes left, and we, will, uh, we unfortunately we have to uh, uh, to end on time. So, short 
and uh, Hervé Mariton short a new uh, answer to both you. of them. Yeah. Uh, I'm Elshifi from Israel. I wonder what is the subject that worried today Mongolia? With what you are fighting, what you stand against? Hervé? Yeah, sit. Uh, Mr. President, what about southern Mongolia? Is it an issue? Uh, cousins you like to talk about are... Uh, you mean your... inner Mongolia? Yes. Oh, okay. So, and unfortunately, that's yeah. all. What worries today Mongolia and my government? And I think uh, uh, you, you mentioned the economy, the economic issue. And the Mongolian economy is not a diverse economy. And we need to make our economy more diverse and more productive. That's the main issue now in, uh, in, in, in Mongolia. We have, with, uh, we actually concluded agreement with I, IMF and others, and we are working very closely. Uh, other issue, of course, more exposure to the world, more relevance to the world, aiding the more weight, Mongolian weight in, in the world stage. That's really important, and uh, uh, this, this is one, one way participating in this conference and presenting about my country here. You asked about the inner Mongolia. You know, today's Mongolian territory is 18th largest territory in the world, but this is only 10% of our territory used to be. Thank you. So, because and uh, in Mongolia, there are five million Mongolians live in China. Mm. In Mongolia, there are uh, three million one hundred and eighty thousand mm. people live in Mongolia, and in Russia, there are more than one million Mongolians live. So, Overall, in the world, there are ten million Mongolians, and so, one third of them in Mongolia. So, and we have uh, great relations histor. Uh, the relations, free relations, inner Mongolians can come to Mongolia and our people go there. 